Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of ARK Digital Adventures. Woo. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm yet again flying on my Giga Titan Kamakuras. And yeah, I'm in the desert once again because I wanted to tame something big. I don't care what, just something big. A Karkodonosaurus, a Chalanti, a Benokyrus. I mean, I've seen a lot of them around here. That would be quite cool. Um, and yeah, so in the last episode, we tamed the Samosaurus. I haven't given him a name as of right now. And of course it starts raining when I start recording, but you know, that's beside the point. And yeah, the Samosaurus in the last episode helped us to gather like, f what, 15k uh, Silica Pearls, which is absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, so in today's episode, I just want to tame something strong, something that can defend me against various creatures. I mean, we have that with Rambe, with uh, Giga Titan Kamakuras over here, but like something really, really solid, something really strong. And yeah, guys, don't forget, if you enjoy this video at any point, please do me a huge favor and smack that like button. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit that bell. Alright, let me put that gun away and let me activate my Elsa Spyglass, please. So, usually I've seen a lot of them around here and there's one down there. Uh, 156, not gonna tame that one. Bottom of the barrel, not gonna get that one. And there's another one. Danokyrus, 162. Uh, yeah, I mean, they eat raw prime fish meat, and I have that, because just a few minutes ago, I actually snacked some prime fish meat from a Lutectus that was stuck at the shores. I mean, you know, if they're so nice and just almost beach themselves, then why shouldn't I take advantage of that? Yeah, that is just a uh, low-level Kutsiaku. Hey, I'm look yeah, I can't tame these things as of right now. I think that uh, taming is still broken. I'm not 100% sure. Right, so... Yeah, those are all the oases, right? Yeah, I, if I remember yesterday... I was actually flying around there after the episode. I was flying around here a little bit and I couldn't find... I, if I remember correctly, there was not a single Dinochiris over there. But... Yeah, you know, let's let's go over there. Let's go to the volcano. Guys, of course. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely fine, but how are you today? Because I just I just want to know that. <laughs> and also the uh I'm still surprised how well the survival series is going. Honestly, it's uh quite interesting. I, I didn't expect it that the survival series would go this well, honestly. All right, all right, usually we have a ton of them down here, or at least one, and there's one, hello. Uh, hello, Phosphato Draco. Oh. 168, god, the stupid rain. Uh, you know, I'm gonna tame this thing, uh, let me just get rid of you. There we go. But yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, right, I can't destroy these trees. I gonna tame this thing, but you know, let's be honest, the raining the rain here is kinda annoying, so let me just wait until the rain is over. Alright, there we go, it stopped raining. So, um as you can see by the way, I have full ghillie gear, I have my red panda buff. And because you need you need at least the red panda buff in order to tame these guys. So usually when you feed them it will take uh, quite some time until they're hungry again, because, you know, passive tames work pretty simple. You feed them once, and then you wait until they're hungry for the second time, and until then, it can take very long. And Dino Kyrus case over here, it can take up to, I believe, 10 or 15 minutes or something. However, I have Kamakuras on my side, and he... You're still a lady, I always forgot that, sorry. And she will actually help us out a decent amount. So, because if you didn't know, what I've been using in a few episodes actually was this attack. Or this. Essentially those those are moth spores and uh, okay, they, they it, it's called something like scatter hair because you see he's like he the Giga Titan has like all those hairs around the neck and upper body. And essentially, these work just like moth spores, so it drains stamina and this all does also food. So this should speed up the whole taming process tremendously. I just gotta be careful, and I just gotta do it the smart way. So let me just land here. 
Come on, aggro on me. Hello. Ooh. I alright, I have the uh I alright. As long as your creatures have the um the red panda healing buff, everything is fine, okay? Everything is alright. So let me just move you over here. Let me grab all this raw prime fish meat. Dismount. Alright, here goes nothing. Damn, those are some tall ass plants. Uh, you know, let me let me like move Kamakuris somewhere else, honestly. I'm not trusting the Stanokyrus. Wash, are you far enough away? I don't know. I mean, now you're turning, which is good. Yeah, you're turning into the opposite direction. Oh god, the first feat is always the most dangerous one. And the uh, scariest one, especially on these guys. Please don't smack the crap out of me. Okay, good, everything is fine. Yep. And there you go, the fruit just drained by a huge amount. Let me just go away, because... There we go. I, I always need to back off when the, um... Cuddle body buff is gone. There we go, again. I gotta run away. Yet again. Just in case, just in case. Let me just, uh... Track you. Oh, right, you get uh, 38 levels, but of course, since I'm not feeding you fast enough, your food kind of drops, so you might need a few more than uh, 8. But that's fine, I mean, I have 50 of these, so everything is alright. But damn it, Parasol, leave me alone. Alright. There we go. But yeah, by the way, uh, you can also, if you don't have a Giga Titan, you can also use moths for this, essentially. I'm just constantly running away, because if the Red Panda debuff goes off while I'm next to this thing, it might slap the crap out of me, and I don't want that. Alright. Run away, run away, run away. There we go. Go back. Uh, there we go. Come on, one more. Okay, no. We're gonna back off again. Alright, let me just eat this. And let me run in there and try to feed it the fa for the final time. Yes! No, oh, mine! Oh! Not the... Best colors. I, I do really like the blue on the belly, though. But yeah, look at this health. 30, 13k health already. 210% melee damage. Uh, wait, do I have to do it like this so that it's... Okay, yeah. Okay, f excuse me. 412% melee damage. This is ridiculous. Uh, let me just uh, untrack this. And yeah, let me just put you in a cryopod. By the way, it's a boy. So if you have a nice name suggestion for this dangerous boy over here. Well, this, these guys are gigantic though. Look at the size of them. Yeah, so if you have a name suggestion for them, write it on the comment section. Or you can also, if you are on my Discord server already, you can write a name suggestion down there if you want to. Speaking of my Discord, my Discord server is linked in the description. You can join and post memes and have a lot of fun on there. Alright, where did I park Kamakuris? Over there somewhere, right? But yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you later after this quick cut. And we're back, guys! So, as you can see, we're back at base. And yeah, um... This thing is... I, I sometimes forget how giant these guys are. I mean, this is downright the largest creature that I currently have in my arsenal. Like, look at the... Like, wait a minute. Look at the size comparison to my Oxalaya, of course. Like, like look at this! This is ridiculous. This thing is giant. I always forget how massive they are. I mean, here. You could look into my bedroom. I mean, a lot of creatures could, but like, this is, this is crazy. Oh yeah, by the way, the best ability of them is they can sit down. They can sit down. Uh, this actually heals them up a bit. 
and yeah, this looks so nice how they sit down and like <laughs> they look like when they sit down, it looks like if they're about to give me a, if they want to buy a, like sell me something or whatever. <laughs> they literally look like, uh, excuse me, sir, would you have a moment to talk about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? They kind of look like that. Come on. The uh, Dinochiris, the Danger Goose. Um, one fun fact about them is they are, you might you might think, they are the close, they're, they're probably related to like uh, Therizinosaurus because of the giant claws and the size. And here's the thing. They are, all right, I are you ready? The biggest member of the Gullimimus family. Yep. I'm not lying, you can Google it. Their closest relative is Gallimimus. Man, I, I'll gotta be honest, like, evolution was kind to you, bro. Uh, yeah. So those are the sets. Really nice. Uh, by the way, they are omnivores, so they eat berries, meat, and they prefer fish meat over regular meat. Come on, stand up. Let them sh- I wanna show the people your attacks. But I, I really like the fact that they can sit down, honestly. Mo way more creatures need that. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so, uh, let me not look down like this. <clears throat> Alright, so we have left click, which is a... Alright, thanks for that. Uh, again, sorry for that leg spike. Left click is a double claw slash. Right click is the uppercut. And that stuns creatures for a good amount, and also launches smaller creatures into the sky. We have C, which is the big hug. Also has a cooldown. Come on, I want to do it again. Yeah, has a big cooldown, uh, but I think it also slows down targets. Yeah, there we go, the big hug. Then we have C, which is a bite that deals a lot of damage towards fish, and I mean, we have a tiny fish in the pawn over there. Then we have control, which is... It's just a raw, and the creature makes itself even bigger, which is ridiculous. Q is nothing, always nothing. That's pretty much about it. But yeah, let me just show you the fish killer bite. We deal increased damage towards fish and harvest way more with it, <coughs> with this attack. Sorry for that. Yep. Okay, I mean those were tiny fish, but yeah, they're quite quick. They're quite fast. I like that. Let me just jump down here. And there we go. Alright, the dodo, the perfect victim, yeah. So, normally you wouldn't be able to harvest meat. Uh, in order to harvest meat, you need to press X <coughs> for the fish killer bite. I'm gonna leave the beavers alone because they just constantly make some ending paste for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. And come on, I'm gonna give you an uppercut. How about that? <laughs> yep. I mean, those were compies, so yeah. Uh, let me just... Yeah, 13k, that is already like the most health that any of my creatures have. You just need like a little bit of that, but primarily in this. But yeah, these guys are strong. Honestly. If you get like yourself an imprinted one, you easily got yourself a creature that can clap Rexes. Time for some fish meat. Okay, where's the big stuff? Where are the Brontos? I mean, there's a Wyvern I could I could attack, essentially. Ah, oh, no, I'm not doing this because you're just gonna constantly fly away. I don't like that. Oh, Slophysis, hello. I just gonna give you a big hug. Yep, there you go. He is crippled. The only big problem is that he's harvesting essentially everything, so I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna turn this off. Where is it? Harvest settings, disable resource harvesting. Because, I mean, he has enough food in his inventory. I'm. That's a 174 crystal wyvern. Hello there, good lady. And surprise, we're back at the desert because, damn, that's an alpha one. Um, Because I want to go into the griffin trench and clean it up a little bit. There have been way too many griffins in there and I just want to get in there and clean it up just by a small amount because come on, so many creatures in one space in one spot. God damn it. Leave me alone. Oh, I gotta be careful of this dude. 
Yeah, look at that. 140k elf. Yeah, I can't mess with that. But yeah, I just want to go into the Griffin Trench and essentially just kill basically everything that is in there. Oh, by the way, one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, as you saw, while I was ta while I was taming the Danukairis, you were able to see how... Yet again, you were able to see how unbelievably useful Giga Titans are. So, honestly, I'm just going to tell you this. If you don't have a Giga Titan, get yourself one. They will make everything much easier. Alright, you know, I'm going to give you guys an uppercut. <laughs> Alright, how about I give you a big hug? Isn't that nice? Come on. And again. I... The fact that they just fall... Go, yo, I just launched them into the sky. <laughs> Uppercutting... <laughs> Uppercutting creatures into the stratosphere, that's going to be the title of the video. Alright. Yeah, okay, right now you don't see huge amounts of griffins, but trust me, there will be some, like a decent amount of them. Yeah, there are five levels already. Yeah, you see, this is pretty good. Uh, let me just give you an uppercut. There we go, and he's falling all the way up there. Let me just give you... Okay, that hug sadly missed. Just want to give them an hu a hug, okay? That's all. Just getting rid of the corpses. Alright then, that's a nice looking griffin though. Sadly low level. Yeah, you just killed that maw, then don't even go after the corpse. Damn, griffins are weird. Alright, but like a few days ago, I actually saw like a giant cluster of griffins down here. Where was that again? Come on, come on. That's also a nice colored griffin, I don't care. They, they just don't stand a chance against me, that's ridiculous. And that missed. But you're still slowed. Alright, those are quite some griffins. Ho oh, ho, look at this. Just look at this. This is a buffet. Yes! God, this dude, I smacked him against the wall. <laughs> you, don't st you guys don't stand a chance. When will you realize? I mean, okay, I am the one who inv who's invading your territory and killing you one by one, but... Come on. There we go, another one is gone. The best thing is they don't have genders, so, um... They just... they don't get, uh, get mate boost. Let me just launch you into the sky. They don't get mate boosted this way and thus they won't aggro on me if I attack a single one of them. Come on, let me, let me hit you. Oh man, why are you over here? Oh, now all of you come? Alright. There we go. This is just all I wanted to do. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, right. You're also over here. Wait a second. Let me just slap you. Ah, you just ate a corpse and regenerated? Come on, dude. <laughs> These guys just don't send a chance. And I got two more levels. Nice. I, you are 180. I'm gonna leave you alone. But you... No. Okay, that 180 won't attack us, which is good. Damn, I get lifted up by these guys. Okay, that's a 168, though. Alright. Yeah, there are even more over here. <laughs> Alright. Just giving you the uppercut uh, treatment. Uh, 
And you too. Oh wait, I can't, okay. Good. Then like this. Alright, you're doing it like this. Well, this is okay. I gotta lift it up again. I don't want to ascend with my Dino Kairos right now. Damn, this is... Yeah, no, they're trying their best, but they can't keep... They just can't... They can't win. Yep. <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous. Give me a... Come on. 500 damage already. This is not even imprinted, guys. Am I might... Speaking of imprinting, I might turn down my imprinting settings, because otherwise... Okay, that's 174. Otherwise, I might... Some of my creatures might become too strong. Come on, get over here. Let me give you a hug. This is just downright ridiculous. Uh, two more levels. All right. I mean, okay, they are over there. They have a small party. Also, look at all this metal, though. Look at all this metal. Holy. That's a lot of metal. Uh, you got three levels, which is good. And I also got one level. Uh, okay. Just a little bit into melee damage, because I also need to defend myself without creatures. Um, Is this heaven? Is this heaven? Sure kind of looks like it. There we go. Give me a hack. Come on. This is just... Oh, okay, that's also 180. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. That was a 174 scorpion. Why can't I harvest this? There we go. Look at those... Yeah, those are a lot of griffins. <laughs> yeah, this is... um. Yeah, guys, I guess this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a huge favor and smack that like button. And, of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit the bell. Have an absolutely amazing and beautiful day. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.